we are going to do the quest From Pain Comes Beauty. What a beautiful name for the quest. Investigate the apple tree. I think it's there. Where that little golden apple marker is. Just a hunch. Okie dokie. Okay, statue. I'm going to go bye bye. Bye bye. Fly fly. I'm liking these upgraded wings. It's making my job so much easier. Let's find a high spot and just glide on to the next mark. Whee. Can I make it? Well, if I eat some mushrooms, I can. Come on, baby. Ooh -ah. Well, this is a nice spot to park. Okay, put a landing gear. Whoop. Smooth. Wee. Let's see. The tree. Come back whenever you're hungry now, you hear? And be sure to tell all your fellow creatures that I am here to serve them. Fresh apples, available right now. One day. If I could move, I'd be a talking tree. Happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, uh, sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my nurtured root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh, this is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes, what an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure sea foam from my first place. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. 
got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Okay, talk a tree lady. We're going to help you. First, I'm going to take a picture. Then, we'll throw the pearl in the ocean. We got this. Don't you worry. <laughs>